everyone! Today we are going to be making a groom, uh, actually a bride and groom couple uh, dolls. Um, in this video today I'm going to show you how to make the groom and the man. So you can see here, this is the man. Uh, make sure to watch my video on how to make this bride. I am... I have uh, another video, separate video, that I show how to make the bride, or you can make this into a princess or a girl or whatever, you know, whatever you like. So, and I show all the tips on how to do that. But today we're going to make this groom or this man. You can make him into a prince. You can change his uh, tux colors. You can make him into, I don't know, a butler, a boy, um, whatever you really want him to be. He looks like a butler. <laughs> That's why I said that. Anyway, um, I will go through the supplies and uh, make sure um, though to see the pattern. I have a written pattern for this. It's free, so you can see it on my website, yarnutopia.com. And um, you can see the pattern for both of these dolls and watch my videos. And uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel too, so that you can get updates on new videos and then uh, join my Facebook and make sure to share your crochet work on there and um, join there so you can see my updates on when I put out new videos. I try to get one or two out every week. So uh, let's get into the supplies on this groom. We're going to need uh, red heart yarn. I used uh, all red heart yarn in all of this um, except the skin tone. I don't no, this is a, a vintage style four ply um, acrylic yarn. It's very similar to Red Heart feeling, so I just had this for a skin tone color, but uh, you can choose whatever skin tone color you want. And then uh, use black for the tux. You can use other colors for the tux, gray or blue or whatever color tuxedos come in, I guess. And then um, white for the underside here. You can see there's white in here. And then whatever hair color you want. I'm using brown today, but you can use black or blonde color or yellowy color. Um, just like for the bride, I used a golden color. So you can see the two hair colors. And uh, yeah, those are the only colors we need. Let's see, one, two, three, four colors. So, oh. I said white, brown, yep. And then we're going to need two beads for the buttons here. And what we're going to do is we're going to make the head, then the hair, <clears throat> then the we're going to put the face on and the ears we have to make separate. And we're going to sew those on. We're going to make the body separate, then the jacket separate, and then the arms separate. And then we'll add the embellishments later. Okay, so let's start with the head. Get your uh, yarn ready. In this video, we are going to be using an E size hook, which is 3.5 millimeters. You could go down to use a 3 millimeter hook, um, but I would not go anything larger than this, only because then the spaces between the stitches um, might show the polyfill, which you do need polyfill for this as well. So um, I have some here. I just use regular polyfill I got at the craft store and we'll be stuffing this uh, toy so you'll need a lot of this actually <laughs> not just this much <laughs> so let's get started um, just get your skin tone ready and we will start this groom let me get my space all ready so we're gonna start with the head first okay so start with a slip knot <clears throat> put the short end over the long end and then fold this down and pull that through okay that's a slip knot insert your hook and let's get started with a skin tone you want to chain two so yarn over and pull through one and then yarn over and pull through two Okay, so we just chained two. And now it says for round one, single crochet six into the second chain from the hook. So the loop that's on your hook never counts as anything. So we're going to go one and two. So in the second chain right there, insert your hook, 
yarn over and pull through and then yarn over and pull through both loops that are on your hook okay that is whoopsie there you go that is our first single crochet I'll show you again we're gonna go into that same chain yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two loops just like that so that was second our second single crochet so now we're making four more so for a total of six single crochet in this circle here and you can see I'm turning my work and I'm working over the straggler as well okay how many is that one two three four five six perfect so we have six here now uh, it's in a circle so now we're going to be working in continuous rounds so uh, what I highly suggest is that you get a stitch marker of a different color of yarn or if you have an actual like a legit stitch marker that might be better so you can insert your stitch marker here so you know when the beginning of your round is and now in the very next stitch, which is our first stitch that we worked in, we're not going to slip stitch or anything. We're just going to continuously work in circles, like in spirals, okay? So insert your hook in the first stitch there. We're going to go on to round number two now, and we are going to work two single crochets in each stitch all the way around. So insert your hook in that first stitch, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through two. Okay, making our single crochets. We are going to put two single crochets in each stitch. One, two, one, two, one, two. So you'll have a total of 12 single crochets at the end of this round. So I'll do that and I'll meet you up to go on to round number three. Okay, so I'm just going to uh, move my stitch marker up. I have my 12 single crochet. Now going on to round number three, we are going to put two single crochet in the next stitch and then single crochet in the next stitch six times. Okay, so go into the first stitch right behind my stitch marker there for two single crochet. One and two. Okay, and then just put one single crochet in the next stitch. Okay, then put two single crochet in the next stitch. And then one single crochet in the next stitch. So you kind of get that pattern. Just do that all the way around every other stitch, just putting two single crochet and then one in the next and then I'll meet you up when you should have 18 single crochet at the end of this round going on to round number four I'm just moving my stitch marker up there on round number four it says to single crochet in or I'm sorry two single crochets in the next stitch and then one single crochet in the next two stitches okay so Let's insert our hook in the first stitch there, and we'll put two single crochet in that first stitch, one and two, and then one single crochet in the next two stitches, one and two. Then in the next stitch, we're going to put two single crochet, both in that same stitch, and then one single crochet in the next two stitches. Okay, and then just repeat that segment all the way around. So again, two single crochet, and then one single crochet in the next two stitches. At the end of this round, this is round number four, at the end of this round you should have 24 single crochet. So I'll meet you up when I have my 24. Alright, so now going on to round number five. Just moving my stitch marker up. I have 24 stitches now. So uh, for round number five, it says to single crochet two in the next stitch and then single crochet one in the next three stitches. Okay, so in this first stitch here, we're going to put two single crochet, one and two, and then one single crochet in the next three stitches. So one, two, 
and three, and then repeat that. So I'll put two single crochet in the next stitch, one and two, and then one single crochet, whoops, there we go, one single crochet in the next three stitches. At the end of this round, you should have 30 single crochet. So I'm just going to repeat this uh, pattern all the way around and I'll meet you up when we're going to go on to round number six. Okay, for round number six, we're just going to move our stitch marker up and it says to single crochet two in the next stitch and then single crochet in the next four stitches for a total of 36 stitches on this round, okay? So put two single crochet in this first stitch, one and two, and then one single crochet in the next four stitches. So one, two, three, and four, okay? And then repeat that, so put two single crochet in this next stitch, and then one single crochet in the next four stitches. One, two, three, and four. And then repeat that all the way around. And then like I said, you should have 36 single crochet at the end of this round. And I'll meet you up when we're gonna go on to round number seven. Okay, so we just finished round six, going on to round seven moving up the stitch marker. This is our last increase round for the head, so we are going to put two single crochet in the first stitch and then single crochet in the next five stitches. And then repeat that six times all the way around for a total of 42 stitches around. So put your two single crochet in this first stitch, one and two, and then one single crochet in the next five stitches. One, two, three, four, and five. Then repeating that around, so two single crochet in the next stitch, one and two, and then one single crochet in the next five stitches. One, two, three, four, five, and then just repeat that all the way around. So again, and I will uh, meet you up then after I finish this round, we'll go on to round eight, and at the end of this round, you should have 42 stitches. All right, so now I have my 42 stitches around, and this is, we're done increasing now, so this is um, how wide our, our head is going to be. And now uh, for rounds 8 through 17, we are just going to be putting one single crochet in each stitch around, okay? So insert your stitch in the first stitch and then just put one single crochet in there. Usually we've been putting two, just put one in there. And then just put one single crochet in each stitch around. And you're going to do rounds eight through 17, okay? And just like this, just in continuously putting single crochets in each stitch all the way around. I'll meet you up then when I'm finished with round 17. All right, so I'm back now. I ended up actually having to change my yarn for the head because on this um, yarn I was using, that vintage acrylic yarn, I actually ran out. <laughs> so I changed my yarn um, for that, but you can still use the, you know, the same type of yarn. I usually use Red Heart yarns, um, so you can use um, something like this. Um, it's just a little different color. Not too far off though. You can just have a tan. So anyway, I finished round 17. Let me get my uh, pattern up here. I finished round 17 and now we have to do a decrease round. Um, so we are closing now this head. Um, so for this decrease round, here I'm going to move my stitch marker up. 
for this decrease round we're going to go down to 36 stitches and it says to single crochet two together okay so to uh, single crochet two together to decrease um, you have to insert your hook in the next stitch then yarn over and pull through and then go into the next stitch and then yarn over and pull through and then yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook okay that is a single crochet decrease or a single crochet two together and now it says to single crochet in the next five stitches so just do a regular single crochet now one two three four and five and then repeat that again so do a decrease so insert your hook in the next stitch yarn over pull through go into the next stitch yarn over and pull through then yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook and then single crochet a regular single crochet in the next five stitches okay so repeat that all the way around and you should have 36 single crochet at the end of this round and then we are going to uh, pause for a minute and uh, do an assembly step so I'll meet you up when I have finished this round okay so I just finished uh, round 18 we have 36 stitches all the way around so now I'm just gonna pull this a little bit and remove my hook and this is how the head looks so far Okay. And we are going to pause for an assembly step right now. We have to embroider the face. Okay, so we're going to embroider eyebrows, eyes, nose, and mouth. And uh, these are going to be in black, and the nose is going to be in the same color as this yarn, um, the skin tone. So what I need you to do is take the other end of your yarn, or if you have extra somewhere. Um, I need you to... Take some from the other end, from the other end of your yarn, like this. Take a yarn needle, okay, yarn needle, thread your yarn needle, okay, and we're going to start with the nose and then we will work on the other parts of the face. So going um, this, uh, where, our, where our rounds start, that is the back of the head, okay? So we're just going to flip this around like this, and this is the front of the head, front of the face. And we're just going to go in from the inside of the head, and just eyeball it uh, where you feel like the center of the head is or where you want your nose to be. I think that's a good spot and just pull that through and then just skip two or three stitches and just go back in okay and then just go right back out from that side and back into that side and do that about three or four times depending on how big um, you want your nose to be and make sure your yarn is pulled enough, not too tight, just enough to give it a little bit of dimension. Okay, I mean your nose can be different as well. You can have your nose be uh, vertical, you can be doing your stitches up and down, you know, like that, but I just chose to do it sideways. Okay and to pull the stitches out a little bit I think that's a good good big enough nose so now that I am satisfied with my nose size I'm going to cut my yarn and then I'm going to tie that in a knot on the inside okay you can tie it you know twice or three times just to secure it that should be good and just stuff that inside there okay that's that now for the other side or I'm sorry not the other side the other face 
pieces. Um, we, I, we need to make eyes, eyebrows, and a mouth. And I chose black for those. Uh, like I said earlier, you can do these all in different colors if you want to make the lips, you know, pinkish or reddish or like peach-ish color. You can, but I'm just going to use black. And for the eyes, we are actually, you can use safety eyes, you know, safety plastic eyes, but I'm not going to. So I just want to use the yarn, and I'm going to make a French knot for the eyes. So to make a French knot, I'm going to, I yarned my needle, and I'm going in from the inside, like this, going outward, okay, where I want my eye to be. I think that's a good spot. And then to do a French knot... You'll have to see my hands here. I have one finger up holding it, and my other hand is holding the needle and the, the other side of the yarn, the short end of the yarn, like this. And I'm going in from the back side of this yarn, so I'm going in between, see how it's looped around my finger here? I'm going in between these two, and we're going to be working with this front uh, string here and we're going to be looping it around so going up and around looping it like that and then we're going into the next stitch over on the head we're going back into the head okay and then we're pulling that through okay and then you can remove your finger and you should be able to pull tight and it will make your eye just like that okay and that's secure so now you can cut that yarn and tie a knot twice or three times and then do that for the other side for the other eye okay and I'll meet you back up when I have both of my eyes done alright so I have both of my eyes done there so I just did another French knot on that side. Now I'm going to make the mouth and then the eyebrows. So for the mouth, I am, let me see, what am I, how did I make this? Oh yes. We just yarn our needle. Okay. And then we go in again from the inside out and wherever you know you want to position this you can make him have a happy face sad face you don't really want a groom to have a sad face but you can make him have you know a straight face or a big smile a wide smile an open mouth smile you know there's many different many different things so you can see now I'm going in and out just um, going in and out of stitches like that, okay, so now he looks like Frankenstein, <laughs> okay, and now we have to go back to close up these areas here, so we're going to go like this, okay, so how do we do that, well I'm going to turn this upside down, and we have to go back into this black section right here, into the inside, and pull, Okay. Then we have to come out from this black side right here and make sure you go in between the yarn um, plies there, strands there. Okay, pull that out and then go back in to this side. Okay, and then out. And last one here, just go back in. Just like that. Okay, then you can cut that yarn and tie a knot. And like I said earlier, tie it twice or three times so you know it's secure. And stuff that back into the head. And there's our face. Now we just have to do the eyebrows. So for the eyebrows, um, since they are a little bit thinner, 
Um, what I ended up doing actually is this is actually a really good strand here. Cut the strand uh, about 12 inches. You won't need all of it, but cut it about you know 10 or 12 inches and pull it apart if you have the four ply yarn. You could use black thread if you wanted to, but I'm just using the yarn so you can see that there are four strands here. One, two, three, and four. We're going to take two in one hand and two in the other hand and just pull and just completely pull them apart like that. Okay, so this is going to be one eyebrow and this is going to be the other eyebrow. Okay, so I'm going to set that one aside and yarn my needle with this uh, with this um, strand here. Okay, and then we're going in from the inside of the head to the outside and just making our eyebrows. And how do you make the eyebrows? Similar to how we made the mouth. Going in and out. Okay, and then I'm just going to go into this one and back out to this one. Okay, and the eyebrows, you can position them however you want also. Um, that way, you know, your character will have some um, character <laughs> to his face. You know, he'll have an expression. You can make them up high, you can make them really arched, you can make them down, you know whichever way. So that's how you make the eyebrow and then I'm going to just fasten off and tie a knot on the inside and then I'm going to make the other eyebrow and I'll meet you up when my face is complete. Okay so I just finished uh, my other eyebrow. I just did my whole face here and um, just shove all your scraps, all the loose ends inside of the head because nobody's gonna see that. So you can see all my loose ends. It's all messed up in there. So doesn't matter. Nobody's going to see that. Only you and I know that. <laughs> so now uh, we're going to close the bottom of the head. Um, but to do that, we have to decrease and we also need to start stuffing. So grab your polyfill and start uh, putting some in there and continue working. And once we get down to about 24 stitches, we want to um, complete stuffing. So Going on round 19, we are going to decrease again, so insert your hook in the next stitch. Here, let me move my stitch marker up before I do that. Alright, do a decrease single crochet, so insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, go into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, and pull through all three loops. Okay, decrease. Then single crochet in the next four stitches. So, one, two, three, and four. And now repeat that pattern. So decrease, single crochet. Okay, and then single crochet in the next four stitches. One, two, three and four and now you know how the pattern goes so decrease and then do one single crochet in the next four stitches and you at the end of this round you should have 30 single crochets so I will meet you back up when I have that okay so I just finished round uh, 19 so we have 30 single crochet all the way around now going on to round 20 Moving up the stitch marker, we are going to do a decrease single crochet. So I'm sure you know how to do a decrease by now. Decrease single crochet, and then do one regular single crochet in the next three stitches. So one, two, and three. And then decrease single crochet in the next stitch and then a regular single crochet in the next three stitches and do that all the way around for a total of 24 single crochet then make sure you completely stuff this uh, head and uh, we will go on to round 21 okay I'm just stuffing uh, the head now I just finished 
uh, round 20 so I have 24 stitches all the way around and now I'm just stuffing the head as much as I need to and you know be generous with your stuffing because you don't want any lumps or weird dents in your head like that or anything um, so make sure that you stuff it so that it's completely round and situate the stuffing like so so that it's distributed all the way inside okay it looks like one of those lego people right now <laughs> looks funny anyway all right so that's what we will do you could make one of those lego people that's super funny okay now going on to round 21 we are going to do another decrease so move up your stitch marker and it says to single crochet two together and then single crochet in the next two stitches six times for a total of 18 stitches so do your single crochet decrease one and two right there and then single crochet in the next two stitches one two and then repeat that so decrease and then one in the next two stitches okay and then repeat so do that all the way around you'll have 18 single crochet at the end of this round and I'll meet you up when I have my 18 stitches okay so I just finished round 21 now we're on our last round round 22 and it's our last decrease round so I'm just moving my stitch marker up and we just need to single crochet two together and then single crochet in the next one so do your decrease over these first two stitches okay and then regular single crochet in the next okay then decrease in the next stitch okay and then regular single crochet in the next so do that all the way around you'll have a total of 12 stitches at the end of this round and I know it's going to be very tough because it is pulling everything together so just bear with it and um, I'll meet you back up when we are finished with the head all right we are all finished with the head so we just finished round 22 you should have 12 single crochet all the way around to fasten off we just go into the very next stitch and do a slip stitch so yarn over pull through and through and then to fasten off I usually like to just chain one and then cut my yarn and make sure you cut it generously because we will be sewing this later so cut it with a long strand and then just pull all the way through and pull tight. You can remove your stitch marker. Make sure that it is completely stuffed. There's still a little bit of a hole in there, so you can stuff it some more if you need to. But there is our head. So now uh, we will go on to the hair, and then uh, we'll make the rest of the body. So stay tuned, and we will work with the hair. Okay, so for the hair, I'm going to use the color brown. Um, this is red heart, just brown. But if you want to use, you know, if your groom is a different, has a different hair color, if he's blonde or um, has black hair, um, you can change up that color, whichever the way your groom looks. But uh, I'm going to use brown today. So if your groom has brown hair, just use brown hair or brown yarn. <laughs> so we're basically for the hair just going to be repeating um, rounds one through seven of the head, basically. So Round one is going to have six, round two is going to have 12, round three is going to have 18, round four is going to have 24, round five is going to have 30, round six is going to have 36, and round seven is going to have 42. So uh, you can see 42 stitches. I'm talking about um, single crochet all the way around. But I'll show you how to do that. So make your slip knot. So I showed you sort of how to make one. Just put the short end over the long end, fold down, and pull through. Okay, and then put your hook in there, 
and you can start working. So yarn, uh, chain two, so yarn over, pull through, one, yarn over, pull through, two. Then in the second chain from the hook, we are going to put six single crochet. So the loop on the hook never counts, so one, two, right in there, we're putting six single crochet. So insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, two, and again, go right back into that hole there for another single crochet. Again. So we want to do six of them in here. And we're working in continuous rounds, so we're not going to be slip stitching to the beginning at all. So this was four, five, and six. Now I suggest you put your stitch marker in at this point. I'm going to grab mine. Okay, so you can remember where your beginning of your round is. One, two, three, four, five, six. So now go into that first stitch and going on to round number two, we are going to put two single crochet in each stitch around. So one, and two in the first stitch, then in the next stitch, two single crochet, three and four, next stitch, five and six, next stitch, seven and eight, next stitch, nine, and 10, and the last stitch, 11 and 12. So after round two, you should have 12 single crochet. Now moving this stitch marker up, we're working on round number three. At the end of round number three, we will have 18 single crochet. And to do round number three, we are going to put two single crochet in the first stitch, one, and two, and then one single crochet in the next stitch. One. Then two single crochet in the next stitch. One and two. And then one single crochet in the next stitch. Okay, and then repeating that all the way around, and I'll meet you up when I have 18 single crochet. All right, so I just finished round number three. So I have 18 single crochet around, so now we're going to go on to round number 4, I'm just moving my stitch marker up there, and after round number 4 we are going to have 24 stitches, so um, in the first stitch here, it says to put 2 single crochet in the first stitch, 1 and 2, and then 1 single crochet in the next 2 stitches, so just 1 single crochet, and then 1 single crochet. Okay, and then repeat that, so 2 in the next, 2 single crochet in the next stitch, and then one single crochet in the next two stitches. One and two. Okay, and then two in the next, and then one in the next two stitches. So just continue that uh, pattern all the way around. You'll have 24 single crochet at the end of this round, and I'll meet you back up for round five. All right, so I just finished round number four. Going on to round number five, so now I have 24 stitches around, so I'm going to move my stitch marker, and uh, we are going on to round number five, says single crochet two in the next stitch, and then single crochet one in the next three stitches. Okay, so go into the first stitch here, and put two single crochet in there. One and two. And then just put one single crochet in the next three stitches one, two, and three, and then put, then repeat that. So put two single crochet in the next stitch, one and two, and then one single crochet in the next three stitches, one, 
two, and three, and then repeat that again, and just repeat that all the way around. You should have 30 single crochet at the end of this round. So I'll meet you back up when we'll go on to round number six. All right, right now I have 30 single crochet all the way around. So now I'm going on to round number six, moving up the stitch marker. It says to put two single crochet in the next stitch and then single crochet in one in the next four stitches. So I uh, put in the first stitch here, put two single crochet. One and two. And then put one single crochet in the next four stitches. One, two, three, and four. Now repeat around, so go two single crochet in the next stitch, one and two, and then one single crochet in the next four stitches. One, two, three, and four. Okay, so you kind of get that, so just repeat that all the way around. You'll have 36 stitches at the end of this round, so I'll meet you back up when we'll go on to round number 7. Alright, I have 36 stitches all the way around, so now moving up to round 7, we are going to do our last increase round. So um, on this one it says single crochet two in the next stitch and then single crochet one in the next five stitches. So in your first stitch there, let me move my stitch marker, there we go. In the first stitch there we're going to put two single crochet like we've been doing, one and two, and then one single crochet in the next five stitches. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, and then repeat that. So put two single crochet in the next, one and two, and then one single crochet in the next five stitches. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, so now you know that repeat again single crochet two in the next and then one in the next five so um, just repeat that all the way around and you should have 42 stitches at the end of this round so I will meet you back up when I have my 42 stitches all right now I have my 42 stitches and that was our last increase round so now you can see how it looks like this and how it's going to look on the top of our head like that okay so that's uh, all our increases. So now uh, rounds 8 through 12, so 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, so the next five rows or rounds, we are going to just put one single crochet in each stitch around. No more increasing. So go into this next stitch just for one single crochet. One and then one in the next. So you'll have 42 stitches at the end of this round also. So um, go through and do rounds 8 through 12, and then I'll meet you back up when we're going to do round number 13. Okay, so I just finished round 12. So you can see it looks like a bowl here, and uh, when I put it on the head, it fits. And you want it to be, you know, right above the eyebrows and right to the neck area. Okay, so if you need, you know, one or two more rounds, go right ahead. But we are making um, a final round, which I think this is big enough for me. So I might do one more round myself and then I'll do the final round. Uh, round 13 so for me it, it might end up being round 14 rounds but uh, that's really up to you however big your head ended up being um, that will determine how much hair or how many rounds um, you know 8 through 12 or 8 through 13 uh, just do you know one stitch around and that's really your preference on how big um, how much room you have to work with okay so I'm going to do one more round and then um, we'll do round uh, 13, which in my case is now going to be round 14. 
All right, that seems so much better for me. I did one more round. Um, so uh, just really, you know, eyeball it and see how many rounds you need to do to cover the top of the head. Um, so it doesn't really matter, you know, if you do eight, rounds 8 through 12 or 8 through 13 or 8 through 14, you know, just so that it covers from the top of the, um, you have like about a finger width between the eyebrow and the hair, and then it comes all the way back to the back of the neck. Again, about a finger width. So just uh, make sure you have that. Um, so again, it really doesn't matter. You know, just make sure you know how, how long you need your hair to be to do that, or to make it look good. So now we're gonna go on the final round, and on my pattern it says round 13. Um, so just ignore the round 13 if you needed to make more rounds. And on round 13, let's read it real quick. All right, it says single crochet in the next 10 stitches. Okay, so let me move my stitch marker up. Okay, so just do one regular single crochet in the next 10 stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, then double crochet in the next ten stitches. So yarn over, go into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay. Then it says to chain four, so yarn over, pull through, one, two, three, and four. And then it says to half double crochet in the second chain from the hook, so yarn over, go into the second chain from the hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook, one, do it into the next chain, two, and then yarn over and go into the last chain there, three, okay, so you have three double crochets, or I'm sorry, half double crochets, then it says to double crochet then, continue double crocheting in the next ten stitches. Let me just make sure I did that right. Oh wait, first we have to slip stitch. Slip stitch to the next stitch there. Onto, on that last round there, right here. Yarn over, pull through, and through. Okay, just like that. And then work, um, actually it says to work half double crochet in the next 10 stitches on your last round. So then working in the next stitch, so now we just slip stitched in this next stitch, so the next stitch after that we're going to work half double crochets in the next 10. No more double crochets. So yarn over, go in there, then yarn over and pull through, yarn over, pull through all three loops. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And then it says to uh, just single crochet until the end of the round. So until we hit our stitch marker, um, you can single crochet 
into each stitch like this. I'm just going quite fast. And you know, you don't even have to go all the way around. Um, you can, but I'm just going to go right to the very second to last one. And then the last stitch, I'm just going to slip stitch. So insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, and through. Then to fasten off, just yarn, one, uh, yarn over and pull through, and that's one chain. Let me grab my scissors. Make sure that you cut your yarn a significant amount because we are going to uh, be sewing this to the head. All right, so I'm just gonna trim my yarn real quick and then pull that all the way through and pull tight. Take out the stitch marker. And now see on this one, the hair um, kind of goes through the both eyebrows, but it's more on one side. So you can really play with it and see um, where exactly you want yours to land. So... It can be right in the middle, it can be off to the side. I think that's a good spot right there. And you can, you know, move this thing over so it's more this way. You can move it over so it's facing this way. So I think I like it facing the other way. So I think I'm going to keep mine like that. And then just play with it, stretch it around the head to make it look like it is actually hair. Okay. And then I suggest having a yarn needle. Okay, so I have this yarn needle here. And we are going to take our yarn, our straggler yarn that we cut long so that we can sew it in. Just yarn your needle. Okay. And then what we want to do is go back and forth. So go into the head and then out through the side and just go along the edge of the hair but um, like we did for the bride if you watched my other video for the bride don't sew it so you see the Frankenstein stitches okay Frankenstein stitches are if you sewed it and like went way over here and then you'd see that big long stitch there you don't want to do that Okay, so when you're on outside stitches, just go to the very next stitch. When you're on inside stitches, it doesn't matter because nobody sees the inside. So you can go to, you know, skip a couple stitches and then go to that next stitch. Okay, but on the outside, just go to the very next stitch. So you really got to make sure that it looks really good on the outside. Okay, so just do that all the way around this piece, and then uh, we will fasten off, and so I'll meet you up and show you how to fasten off, and then we will start with the body. Okay, so I just made it all the way around, and um, you can kind of see that some of these spots are really poking in. I might have pulled a little tight. Just make sure that it you pull that back so that it's nice and smooth all the way around before you fasten off. Um, you just want to make sure that everything looks smooth and clean. Okay, and there's fiber fill all on the outside there. All right, and we're at the bottom of the neck there. So now everything looks good, smooth, and clean. And to fasten off, just go into a loop from the head and back out a loop from the hair. Okay, insert your finger into that loop and then pull, put your yarn through that loop. Okay, to make a knot and pull tight. Okay, and do that a couple of times, you know, maybe two or three times just to secure it. Okay. 
Oops. Just like that. And then go into the hair, into the head, and you can even come out this bottom hole here. Just to stuff that extra yarn inside the head so that it is hidden. And if you have a lot of extra, you can either cut it or wrap it around your finger and take that off there and just shove it inside of the head where nobody is going to see. Okay? Just like that. And there you have their hair. So I did mention we were going to move on to the body next, but actually I want to finish the complete head first and we need to finish and make ears on each side of the head. So uh, let's do that right away and then we will move on to making the body. Um, so set that head aside there and get your flesh color yarn. And to make the ears, it's very simple. We just need to make a slip knot. We know how to make a slip knot now. We already made two in this video. Okay, and just put your yarn on your needle there. And it says to chain two. So yarn over, pull through one and two. Okay, so we chain two. And now it says to make four double crochets in the second chain from the hook. So yarn over, go into that second chain, so that very first chain we made. Go in there, yarn over and pull through. Yarn over and pull through two loops. Let's see, two loops only, not all three. <laughs> Sorry, two loops. And then yarn over and pull through two loops. So I'll show you again because we have to make four of these. So we just made one. So yarn over, go into that chain, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two loops, and then yarn over and pull through two loops. Again, yarn over, go into there, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops. Last one, yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull out, yarn over, go pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops. Then to fasten off, just chain one, cut the yarn a little bit longer to sew this onto the head, and pull tight. Okay, so we're gonna sew this onto the head, similarly how we sewed on the, hat, uh, the hair. Okay, we're gonna sew this to each side, like this. So I'm gonna sew this onto this side, make another one, and then sew it on the other side, and then I'll meet you up when I have both of my ears sewn to the head. All right, so I just finished the head here. So I just finished putting the ears on. I made both ears and sewed them to the side like this, and they kind of curl up like this so they make the shape of the ear. And so there's my head all finished. So now we can move on to making the body. So if your um, man has, you know, black shoes, which I'm going to use black today. Uh, I changed out my lighting so we can see the black yarn. Um, Otherwise, if he has brown shoes or gray shoes, you can get the color for the shoes and we will get started right away. So I'll set that aside. I'm getting my black yarn ready. We're going to start with the legs and work our way up. And to do so, make a slip knot. So we put the short end over the long end, fold that down, and pull that through. We've made a couple of slip knots already in this video, so I'm sure you know how to do that. <clears throat> All right, so with the legs, with the black yarn, because my shoes are black, we are going to chain two. So yarn over, pull through, one and two. And then in, it says single crochet six in the second chain from the hook. So go into the second chain from the hook, then yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two. So that's a single crochet. So make five more for a total of six. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. And basically for this uh, foot, we are going to be repeating rounds one through four of the hair and the head. 
so you can jump ahead here if you need to. <clears throat> but if you if not, just follow along. I am going to put the stitch marker in this at this point because we're working in spirals, so I want to make sure I know where my beginning of my round is. And going into the first stitch of the round, going on to round number two, we are going to single crochet two in each stitch around for a total of 12 single crochet. So go into that first stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. So one and two, okay. Next stitch has three and four. Then the next stitch, five and six. Next stitch, seven and eight. Next has nine and 10. And the last stitch has 11 and 12. Okay, so that was round number two. Now going on to round number three, moving my stitch marker up. It says to put two single crochet in the next stitch and then single crochet in the next stitch. So in this first stitch here, we're putting two single crochets. One and two. And then just one single crochet in the next stitch. Okay, then two single crochet in the next stitch. One and two. And then one single crochet in the next stitch. So you kind of get that point. You, we've done this for the hair and the head already. So you kind of get that pattern. So I'll just meet you up when I have 18 single crochet. Alright, so now I just finished round number three, so I'm just going to move my stitch marker up and we're going on to round number four, and this is our last uh, increase round here. So we have to uh, put two single crochet in the next stitch and then one single crochet in the next two stitches. So go into that stitch for two single crochet, one and two, and then one single crochet in the next two stitches. One and two. Okay, then repeat that. So two single crochet in the next stitch, and then one single crochet in the next two stitches. Okay, and then repeat that around. You should have 24 single crochet at the end of this round, so I'll meet you up when we'll go on to round number five. All right, so for rounds five, six, and seven, we are done increasing. So now five, six, and seven, we are going to be just putting one single crochet in each stitch around. So for the next three rounds, just put one single crochet in the next stitch. Okay, all the way around, one single crochet, just like this. You have a total of 24 single crochets for rounds five, six, and seven. And then on round eight, we are going to start our decreasing. So make sure to do this and then I'll meet you up when we'll do round number eight together. All right, so I just finished uh, going around here. Let me get my pattern up and then we can go on to round eight. So I just finished round five, six, and seven. So moving my stitch marker up for round eight, we are decreasing. So um, we're decreasing down to 18 stitches, so we're going to do a single crochet decrease, so single crochet two together, go into your first stitch here, yarn over, pull through, go into the very next stitch, yarn over and pull through, then yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. That's a single crochet decrease. Then in the next stitch, we are just going to do a regular single crochet, and in the next stitch after that, just a regular single crochet. So we're doing single crochet two together, and then single crochet, regular single crochet in the next two stitches. Okay, 
then single crochet two together, and then single crochet one in the next two stitches. And do that all the way around, and I'll meet you up when I have 18 single crochet. All right, so I just uh, finished uh, round eight. So now we have 18 single crochet. You can see it's coming in now, inward. So now we have to decrease again, but we're not going to be decreasing six times. We're just going to be decreasing once. So move up that stitch marker. And going on to round nine, <clears throat> we are going to do a single crochet decrease on the first the two stitches here. So insert your hook. Yarn over, pull through, go into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through all three loops. Okay? And now that was the decrease. So we're just going to do one single crochet in the rest of the stitches around. So no more decreasing on this round. So at the end of this round, you'll have 17 single crochet. And I will meet you then up when we do round 10. Okay, so for round 10, uh, we are going to do the same thing we did with round 9, is just do a decrease over the first two single crochet, making them into one. Just like that. And then single crocheting in the rest of the stitches. So, so easy. So at the end of this round, you should have 16 single crochet. And then we are going to actually do the same thing that we're doing here, single crochet two together and then single crochet in the rest of the stitches around. We're gonna do that for the next row as well, so round 11. So I'll meet you up when I'm on round 11 and I'll show you how to do that one and then we will move on to the rest of the leg. Okay, so right now I have 16 stitches, so moving on to round 11, like I had just said, we are going to do a decrease on these first two stitches, so single crochet decrease, okay, and then single crochet all the way around, and you will have 15 single crochets at the end of this round, and then we're done de decreasing at this point uh, for this leg, so um, I'll meet you back up after this round, and I'll show you how to go on to round 12. Okay, so now moving on to round 12. At this point, you may need to change your color if your pants are a different color. If not, um, do round 12 to 26, or I'm sorry, round 12 to 24, uh, just one single crochet around, um, continuing with the black. Um, but for round 12, for everybody, whether you're changing color or not, you know, change your color if you need to, but for round 12, we're only working in the back loops only, okay? So the back loops only, see, so we usually are going through these two loops here. The back loops are right here, okay? So you see this line here and this line here. This is the front loop, this is the back loop. Front loop, back loop. So we've been going through both. We are going to skip the front loop here and go directly into the back loop there. Okay, and then it, that's going to make a line across to kind of separate the pants from the leg, the feet. Um, so for round 12, that's all we're doing is just putting one single crochet all the way around. One, two, three, but just working in the back loop only. So going back loop only back loop only, back loop only, just like that. Okay, so do that all the way around and then I'll show you how to go on to round 13. All right, so I just came back around and you can sort of see there is that line right there for the separation then of the shoe and now we're working on the pants, okay? So you can see that all the way around. If you had to change color, it will definitely look much different. Um, so let's continue then on. So rounds 13 to 24 or 26, however long you want your legs to be, I guess. If you want your uh, doll to be super tall, you can do 26 round 26 or I'm gonna actually just go to round 24. 
Okay, so we're just put it, we're working in both loops now and just working one single crochet around. But I'm going to move my stitch marker up so I know where my beginning is. Okay, so just putting one single crochet around in each stitch for round 13 to 24. And once I hit round 24, I'll see, maybe I do, do do go on to doing two more rounds, making it 26 rounds. But um, that's, again, your personal preference. So in my pattern, it says round 24, but you can go make the legs longer if you wish. And just make sure both legs are the same. So um, <clears throat> we are going to just crochet single crochets all the way around for rounds 13 to 24. And then once I finish round 24, I will meet you back up and we will go on to the next step. Okay, at this point I just finished uh, round 24 and I think this is long enough. This is kind of how long I wanted it to be, which is similar to my first, um, my first groom. At this point we're going to fasten off on the first leg. So just go into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through and through for a slip stitch. Then to fasten off, I usually just chain one and cut your yarn. You don't have to cut it too long, but uh, semi-long, like six inches maybe. And then pull that all the way through like that, okay? So then that's our done on our first leg. Now repeat this and make the second leg, except on the second leg, do not fasten off. Don't do what we just did here. On the second leg, just make this first 24 rounds. And then I'll meet you up when we go on to uh, round 25. All right, so I just finished round 24 of my second leg. Remember, do not fasten off of the second leg. But we just worked it the same exact as we did as the first leg. We just didn't fasten off. So you now you see you have two pieces here. I started stuffing the first leg, and you want to start stuffing uh, both of the pieces and then we will uh, start working on to round 25 and you don't have to stuff it all the way but just enough uh, just so you have the feet full because once you get high enough uh, in this uh, body portion it's going to be very difficult to get your fingers uh, and stuffing down to the very bottom of the tip of the foot even this part is kind of difficult. So um, just stuff the legs and the feet and the part of the legs or all, the whole leg. And then I'll meet you up when we uh, start round 25. We are going to connect the two legs in round 25. All right, so now you'll begin uh, to join the two legs together and form the body. So round 25, I'm just putting my stitch marker here to know that that is the uh, first, uh, the beginning of the round. We're starting on the foot, or the leg that we um, are, have been working on, the one that we did not fasten off of. And it says to single crochet in each stitch of round 24 of the leg you are working on, okay? So just do one single crochet around, okay, on this leg. So this is round 25. We are working one single crochet all the way around. So in each stitch on this leg, and then I'll meet you up uh, when we go on to the next step. All right, so I made it all the way around on this first leg. Then we're going to pick up this second leg here, and wherever we fastened off, we're going to go right into that stitch, just like that, okay? And we have our yarn behind our hook like this. So we're not attaching like this. We are attaching so that the yarn is behind our hook and we go in like this. Okay? So that's that. A lot of people, you know, end up putting this um, yarn in front of their hook and then get all screwed up. So make sure it's behind your hook. Insert your hook into that stitch on the second leg and then single crochet around each stitch of round 24 on that leg. So just make a single crochet like that and then just single crochet 
all the way around on that leg. Okay, and then once you get back to the beginning of this leg, then I will show you how to go on to round 26. Alright, so this is what my work looks like here. This is my straggler, which um, we are going to use this straggler, but I'm just going to put that off to the side here. If you go like this, you can see that we worked in this stitch here, and where our stitch marker is, we're going to work now into that stitch. And we can even move our stitch marker up to know that that is the beginning of our round. Okay? So wh wherever, whatever is worked over here, you can see we worked in this stitch and we worked in this stitch. So we worked in every single stitch on this leg and every single stitch on this leg. So now I'm moving my stitch marker up and we're going on to round 26 and we are just going to single crochet around this entire piece. So now our legs are connected and we are working now a single crochet around, so insert your hook in that first stitch there and make a single crochet and single crochet all the way around now. So now you should be completely connected and all good everywhere. And then once we finish this round, I'll show you what we're going to do with that straggler in the middle, that, that black straggler in the middle. Um, of the legs and we'll, we'll work on that next. Alright, once you've made it all the way around, you can see here we just uh, finished round 26. I'm going to pull out my hook for a second and get my yarn needle and look at this uh, middle section here. You can see there's a big hole right in the middle there when we attach the legs, this hole is um, where no stitches were uh, single crocheted together. Here, let me get this out of here. So you can see that hole. Okay, so we're going to close this up. And with that straggler, we are going to sew that up. So yarn your needle. I mean, I should have said because there were no stitches there, somehow that hole was there. If you know a better way, you know, to connect two pieces so that there won't be a hole, good luck to you, but otherwise we're just going to go around and do a whip stitch going from one leg to the other. There's so much polyfill. There we go. And pull tight and then do it uh, about you know three maybe four times just to close that area and then you want to uh, loop it hold your finger in that loop and then go back in that loop to tie a knot okay and then you can see that there's no more hole over there. There's a lot of polyfill, but that'll be gone. So now we can continue working. So just uh, shove that um, straggler back into one of the legs. So that's hidden. And we can continue working. So move your stitch marker up and working on round 27. We are going to just repeat round 26 by just putting one single crochet in each stitch around. So I will meet you up when we are going to work on round 28. Alright, so I just finished round 27. Uh, so we just repeated round 26. I think I might have said the wrong number of rounds, so, um, but I'm not sure. So it was round 26 and 27 which were just single crocheting around. Um, round 25 was the one that we connected the two legs then 26 and 27 were just single crocheting in each stitch around. Now going on to 28 we are actually going to be increasing um, let's see here Okay. So we're going to increase now, um, 
by putting two single crochet in the first stitch move up my stitch marker there two single crochet in the first stitch and then one single crochet in the next four stitches for a total of 36 stitches on this round because right now we have 30 stitches so two single crochet in the first stitch and then one single crochet in the next four stitches one two three and four whoopsie and then repeat that around so put two single crochet in the next stitch and then one single crochet in the next four stitches one two three and four and then put two single crochet in the next stitch one and two and then one single crochet in the next four stitches. So just repeat that around. You'll have 36 stitches at the end of this round and I'll meet you up when we go on to round uh, 29? 29. Okay, after, um, for the last stitch on round 28, we're actually gonna be changing color for round 29. So on the last stitch of round 28, don't completely finish it. Go. Uh, just like this, we'll ex I'll explain it. Go into the stitch, yarn over and pull through, but do not yarn over and pull all the way through. Since I have to change color because my groom has a white t-shirt or white button-down shirt underneath, I have to change color to white. So let me get my white yarn here. There we go. White yarn. And we are going to then finish off our single crochet by looping that around our hook and pulling that through. So that we just finished the last stitch of round 28. So going on to round 29 now we are working with uh, white yarn. Now we have 36 stitches all the way around because on round 28 we just increased six times. So we have 36 stitches. So for rounds 29 and 30 we are going to be um, just single crocheting around or I'm sorry 29 30 and 31 so for three rounds we are just going to be single crocheting all the way around just like this with the new color white now at this point I have four stitches I'm pretty secure what I'm gonna do is just cut the black yarn which is old yarn and I'm going to tie a notch of the two colors inside and just stuff that inside of the doll okay so now we can continue working with white for rounds 29 30 and 31 and so you'll have 36 stitches on each of these rounds and I'll meet you up when we go on to round 32 Okay, so I just finished um, round 29, 30, and 31. So now we are, we just did a single crochet in each stitch around. So now going on to round 32, we are actually going to start decreasing and we're gonna decrease six times. So we're gonna go down to 30 stitches. How to do that? We are going to move up our stitch marker first. And then we are going to single crochet decrease over these two uh, first two stitches here. So insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, go into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, and pull through all three loops on your hook. That's a decrease. And then do one single crochet in the next four stitches. So one, two, three, and four. And then repeat that so just do a decrease single crochet and then a regular single crochet in the next four stitches okay and do that all the way around and then I'll meet you up when we go on to round 33 okay so I just uh, finished round 32 I um, decreased so I now I have 
30 single crochet all the way around and at this point I'm just going to stuff a little bit more into the legs making sure that they are completely stuffed because we're going to continue decreasing. We're going to decrease a little bit differently though. We're not going to decrease six times anymore. We are going to decrease twice on the next round, which is round 33. So I'm just going to stuff a little bit more in here. Or actually, I'll just wait. So that's enough there. All right. So round 33, it says to single crochet two together. Let me pull this up here. Single crochet two together. Okay, and then single crochet in the next 13 stitches. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12 and 13 okay and then single crochet two together and then single crochet a regular single crochet in the rest of the stitches which should be 13 stitches so at the end of this round you should have 28 single crochet so I'll meet you up when we'll go on to round 34 okay going on to round 34 I'm just moving my stitch marker up there. So now we have 28 stitches. Now on round 24, um, or I'm sorry, 34. Is that 34? Yes, 34. We are actually going to be um, doing the same exact thing except single crocheting in the next 12. So decrease over the first two stitches. Squeaky yarn. There we go. Decrease and then single crochet in the next 12 stitches and then do another decrease and then single crochet in the rest of the stitches so you'll have 26 stitches at the end of this round so just repeat what we did last round just single crochet in the next 12 stitches instead of 13 um, so then I'll meet you up when we are going on to the next round Okay, so I just finished round 34 and I have um, 26 stitches now because we just did a decrease and then single crochet in the next 12 and then decreased in the front there, right there, and then did a single crochet in the last 12. So we have 26 stitches. Now for round 35, we just want to do one single crochet in each stitch around. So no decreasing on this round, just put one single crochet in each stitch all the way around for a total of 26 and then I'll meet you up to go on to the next round. Okay at this point you should have 26 stitches uh, we just did one single crochet around for round 35 so now we're going on to round 36 and round 36 says to do uh, the same thing we did for round 34 and 33. So we're going to do um, round 36 is that decrease on the first two. So decrease single crochet like that. Okay, and then single crochet in the next 11 stitches. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. And now do another single crochet decrease. Okay, and then single crochet in the last stitches which is 11 stitches so then I'll meet you back up when we will work on uh, round 37. Alright going on to round 37 well at this point after round 36 uh, you should have 24 single crochet so now we are doing um, 
another decrease, but it's not going to be like we have been doing now. We're going to decrease six this time, going down to 18 single crochets. Okay, so this is round 37, and we are going to do a single crochet decrease, and then single crochet in the next two stitches, and do that six times all the way around. So that was a decrease, then single crochet in the next two stitches, one and two, and then do another decrease, and then one single crochet in the next two stitches, and then another decrease, and then one in the next two stitches. So do that all the way around. You should have 18 single crochet at the end of this round, and I'll meet you up when we go on to round 38. Okay, for round 38, so now actually you should have 18 single crochet all the way around. So round 38, we are just going to put one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. So no increasing, no decreasing, no nothing on this round. Uh, for round 38, we are just going to put one single crochet in each stitch all the way around, just like that. And I'll meet you up for the very last round. We will be finishing the body. Okay, so I'm just going to finish um, stuffing this piece because we are going on to the last round. Uh, the next round we are just going to be continuously, uh, or not continuously, but doing a decrease and then a single crochet every other stitch to make 12 stitches. And once there's 12 stitches, it's kind of difficult to get all the polyfill into the inside. So I'm just going to stuff my piece 100% and then I will go on to the last round. For some it's, you know, round 39. For some it'll be a different round because of the size of the legs that you made. You know, if you made your legs a little longer or a little shorter, um, this may be a little different for you, you know, a little different pattern. But just continue following the pattern as it should be for the rows um, that you did. So you can see there. Alright, so we're completely stuffed now. And now going on to the last round, whichever round that may be for you. Mine is round 39. We are going to move our stitch marker up. And then we're going to do a decrease single crochet and then single crochet in the next stitch six times. Okay, so that'll be all the way around and then it'll be a total of 12 stitches in total. But it's going to be a little difficult. Ugh, and my stitch marker is being uncooperative. There we go. It is going to be a little difficult only because we are squeezing everything together. So there was my decrease, and then just do a regular single crochet in the next stitch, then another decrease, and then a single crochet in the next stitch. So do that around, you'll have 12 stitches at the end of this round. Okay, then we're just going to fasten off, I'm going to remove my stitch marker, and then to fasten off just go into the very next stitch yarn over, pull through, and pull through. Okay, and then to yar um, fasten off, I just chain one, cut my yarn. I cut it a little bit longer for sewing. Um, that's just my preference to do that. And we are done with the body. So there we go. So now we have to sew the head to the body like this. Um, I would, I'm, I need to stuff my head a little bit more, but stuff, um, the pieces and sew these together and then and you want to make sure that stuffing a little bit like comes out and meets with the head so there's stuffing in between so that the head doesn't flop over like that okay so that's uh, one thing that you will have to do so that your head doesn't topple over and look like dead <laughs> And then once we attach these two pieces, then we will move on to make the jacket and uh, put that over around the uh, abdomen part to cover the white. But we will be seeing just a little bit of white, kind of like how this one looks. 
you can see a little bit of the white in here so we will make the jacket next and then the arms okay so I'll meet you back up when my head is attached to the body okay so I just sewed on the head I ended up stuffing a little bit more in the neck area so the head is pretty uh, sturdy here okay and this is our body now we're gonna work on the jacket so um, get whatever matching color your pants are uh, if your pants are black get black for the jacket if your pants are gray or blue whatever color your tux is okay so I'm just copying what this one looks like so we just did the legs and now we're gonna make the jacket so for the jacket yep we are going to here I'm just gonna set this stuff aside here we're going with black today on my jacket here and make a slip knot so put the short end over the long end fold that down pull that through and we need to chain 40 okay so yarn over pull through one two three four five six seven eight nine ten I won't make you watch all 40 chains so just chain up to 40 and I'll meet you up when I have my 40 chains so now that I've chained 40 we are going to double crochet in the third chain from the hook and all the way across. What I usually do is that you see your chain this way, but I actually turn it toward me so I see the back ridges of the chain. So, excuse me, I'm going to double crochet in the third chain, one, two, three, yarn over, go into that chain yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two and then yarn over and pull through the last two so that's your first double crochet now this part here it's going to be considered your chain of two but that's not going to count as a stitch so don't count that I mean you could count that but then only um, chain what is it 38 I guess so it's totally up to you though but anyways uh, going across making your double crochets in each chain like that and then I'll meet you up um, for round no or row number two all right for t um, I just finished uh, row one here so I just double crocheted across that chain now rows two, three, and four are exactly the same, so pay attention. We are going to chain up two, one and two, turn our work. So now we're looking at it like this. And we are going to double crochet across. So yarn over, go right into that first stitch. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And just double crochet across, okay? Then once you get to the end, just chain up two and crochet across, and then do it one more time. So do it till round, uh, rows two, three, and four. Then after row four, I'll meet you up, and uh, we will go on to round number, or row number five, and um, we will be doing a decrease. Alright, so I just uh, double crocheted across for rows 2, 3, and 4. I also wanted to mention, I forgot that um, to say that you should have 38 double crochets all the way across, okay? Um, you know, if you needed more or less, um, just find out by wrapping this around and allowing it to overlap just a little bit, you know, about half an inch or an inch, okay? So that should fit around your groom like that. And uh, that's if you stretch it out. If you don't even stretch it, it probably will only be like right to there, like just the tip or the outer edge or whatever. So I stretched mine out so it's overlapping quite a bit. You can see. But, anyways, going on to row five. It says to chain up two and turn the work 
And now it says do double crochet two together and then double crochet across until the last two stitches and then double crochet those two together. So yarn over, go into this first stitch here, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, but don't go into those last two. You yarn over and go into the next stitch. Then yarn over and pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Now you have three loops on your hook, you're going to yarn over and pull through all three of those loops. That is a double crochet decrease or double crochet two together. So now we're just going to do regular double crochet all the way across until the last two stitches and I'll meet you up when I want to do those last two stitches. I'll show you how to do a double crochet decrease again. All right, I'm on the last two stitches here. So again, double crochet decrease. We are going to go in, yarn over and go into the stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through two loops, yarn over, go into the next stitch, the very last stitch on that row, yarn over and pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, and then yarn over and pull through all three loops on the hook. Okay, so that's our decrease. Okay, so we just finished up round or row five, so you should have 36. Um, double crochets across, chain up two, and we are going to repeat that. So double crochet decrease on this first stitch. This is row six. So double crochet decrease. Okay, and then double crochet across. And then I'll meet you up when I do my last double crochet decrease on this row. Okay, so I'm on the last two stitches of this row, so I'm just going to do my double crochet decrease. Okay, so after this row you should have, let's see, row 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Row 6 has 34 double crochets at the end of that row. Okay, now going on to the last row, we're going to repeat that. And then we should have 32 double crochet at the end there. But uh, there is an option here. I'm going to do my double crochet decrease real quick. Okay, there is an option to make this a longer jacket if you need to, if your torso is a little bit longer, um, to just continue repeating this row by doing a decrease in the beginning and then double crocheting across and then doing a decrease over the last two stitches until you need you have it um, as small as you need it so um, I am going to finish this row and check and see if it does fit in my groom and if it does I'm going to fasten off and if it doesn't I'm going to continue working all right, so I'm just on my last two stitches here, so I'm just going to do another decrease. All right, now I'm going to remove my hook and put my um, jacket around my groom to make sure it is long enough. Yep, it seems long enough. And then what we're going to do is actually, when we fasten off, we're going to flip this down like this. Actually, maybe it's a little too long. <laughs> okay, so you really need to manipulate it just to make sure that it does fit. But you don't want it to look like a Dracula cape, you know? So you want it to be a tuxedo. So you really have to manipulate it to make it look that way. See how it, this is flaring out and that looks kind of like Dracula. So um, what I'm going to do is maybe do one more row or you could eliminate one of these rows down here. Um, well maybe difficult to do that now but you may have to take it apart and then uh, re-crochet this but um, just eliminate one of these first four rows. So just do one through three and then do your decrease rows just because this may turn out to be too long, it may turn out to be too short, and you really never know until you put it on your doll and then find out, oh, it may be a little too long. 
or it's too short or something. So I'm going to tweak it a little bit, but just, um, you know, follow that pattern for the jacket and make it the way you need it to be. And then um, I'll meet you up um, when I have finished completely. And then once you're done at this point, if, if your jacket looks good on your body like this, then we're just going to chain one and then cut a very long strand of yarn, cut that and then pull it all the way through. I'm not gonna fasten off because I need to make some changes on my own. So um, cut a very long strand because we are going to sew this around the body, around the neck. The thing is though, you want that to be a little bit more snug at the top and less snug around the hip area, but you don't want it to come too low. Look at this one here. See how the uh, crotch area is being shown here, so you can see the spread of the legs here, and so you want the jacket to come right below where the white is, okay? So we want the jacket to actually come way up here and see how long mine is now. If my jacket came up to here, my jacket is so much longer. Okay, so I'm going to make some changes to my jacket, but you want your jacket to look like this. Okay, so you want it to be just this wide. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. See, there's seven, ro seven rows on this one, but I don't know why it turned out a little different than this one. So maybe I did something wrong. But I'll meet you up when my jacket is finished. Just follow that pattern accordingly. Um, decrease on the first two and then d double crochet across and then decrease on the last two uh, for a few rows and make your jacket. And if you need to, you know, go down to, um, there are 24 stitches around this top, um, this, this row here. And then there's 18 and 12. So you may want to go down to like 18 stitches. You could do, this is 36 stitches around down here. So you could chain to 36 and then decrease to 18 somehow. So do that and I'll meet you up when my jacket is finished. All right, so I figured out um, a different uh, pattern for this. So I'll put it up on the blog so that you can see exactly what I did on this piece here because I actually did one, two, three, four, five, six rows instead because my body's really short, or my torso is really short. And I ended up on the last row doing uh, double crochet two together, then a regular double crochet, then double crochet two together, then a regular double crochet, and just did that repeat all the way across the last row. So I'll put that up on the blog so you can see exactly what I did. But um, I'm just gonna cut this long strand and then I have to pull that through to fasten that off okay and pull that so now we have our jacket and to situate the jacket center it on the body and then for the first side we want to flap this side down like this this top corner here and then we want to overlap this and pull this down here okay just like that I want to make sure that we see a little bit of white here okay so make it look similar to this one here and if your flaps need to be bigger or smaller, um, that's really up to your preference. So I'm gonna play around with it. Then all we need to do is just sew it to the body. And the way I sewed mine, let me see here, okay. So I just sewed the bottom around this bottom area. Let's see here. Or actually, just around the front, I guess. And then I sewed up this middle here and then I sewed the jacket part to this um, this flap and this flap sewn to the jacket and into the body. And then I went around back 
and sewed it to the back of the neck here and down the spine okay but I did not um, sew this back portion here so I kind of just pinned it to the body basically on this front portion here and then up the front okay so it's but it's secure it's not moving so you can see clearly so I'm gonna do that same exact thing just how we did the hair you know going in and out in and out in and out and then I'm going to um, show you how to put the beads on and then we'll make the arms all right, so I just sewed on my jacket to the body here, so you can see that all the way around. I kind of cinched it up at the top a little bit, but nobody's going to notice that because that's going to be in the back. So that's what it looks like. So, And I did end up sewing the whole front and then uh, part of the back, back here I pinned it down there and then I pinned it around or not pinned it but sewed it I say pin because I just tack it in and out like that so I went all the way around the whole neck down each side of these little flaps here and it's on there secure so now we're going to sew on those two buttons there I just got these two um, beads whoopsie if I dropped one but I have two of these beads here so they are just a wooden bead. This is the closest I got to black. And now I dropped one, so I have to pick up the other one. But I just you just need two of them, and we're just going to sew them top to bottom here. So let me grab that other one, and we will sew them on. To sew them on, I need you need one of these um, needles. Um, they're actually an embroidery needle, or you need a needle small enough that will fit through the whole of your bead easily, like that. Okay? And we are going to use black yarn. So let's get our yarn. And you just want to cut just enough, however much you think you need. I'm taking about eight inches. And on this yarn, this is red heart yarn. You could use thread. You can use black thread if you'd like. That's perfectly fine. But if you pull, if you untwist this red heart yarn um, and pull it apart, you can see that there are four strands four ply like that one two three four we're going to take two in one hand two in the other hand and just pull it apart so we have some thread just like that okay and we're going to use one of these so then yarn your needle or thread your needle like that and then try to go in from the uh, between the body and the jacket at the top part here right here and then put on your bead right there and pull through okay then you can go back in and then come back out and put on your second bead and go all the way through okay now we're going to go back so go into the jacket and just go all the way up to the top here like that just turn your bead like that okay take the front or the first part, the other end of your yarn there, and then tie two or three or four knots underneath the jacket so that it is secure. Just like that. And then you can Yarn your needle again and tuck that in to the back. And you push it all the way through the body and then cut that to weave in your end. So now that's 
secure. And you can straighten your buttons and make them go however you need to. So there you have it, two buttons on your jacket, just like this guy. Okay. So now we'll work on the arms, the hands and the arms, and then the bow tie, and then we're all done. So for the arms, get your skin tone. We're going to be working with the skin tone and the black, or whatever color your jacket is. And for the arms with skin tone, we are going to make our slip knot. Okay. And it says to chain two, one, and two, and then make six single crochet in the first chain, like in the second chain from the hook. So make six single crochets, one, whoopsie, two, three, there we go, four, five, and six. Okay, and then I'm going to insert my uh, stitch marker, wherever that may be. I'll just grab one here. Okay, and then in the first stitch here for round two, we are going to put two single crochet in each stitch around. Okay, so round two, do one and two in the same stitch. Okay, next stitch is three and four. Next stitch is five and six. Next stitch is seven and eight. Next is nine and ten. And next is eleven and twelve. And then we're back to the beginning. So you have twelve stitches on this second round. Now um, we are going to single crochet in each stitch around. Now we're just going to put one single crochet in each stitch around. Okay, so if you need to, move up your stitch marker and put one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. And do that, and then I'll meet you up to go on to round number four. Alright, so I just did one single crochet in each stitch around for round three. I'm moving up my stitch marker and we are moving on to round number four. Round number four says popcorn stitch and then single crochet in the rest of the stitches. So if you are reading from the pattern, a popcorn stitch is explained. You yarn over, then go into the stitch, then and you want to yarn make sure it's a little bit loose, okay? Everything is a little bit looser because you're going to have to yarn over and go through all of this. So yarn over, pull that through. Okay, so you have three loops on your hook, then yarn over, go back into the stitch, yarn over and pull through. So then you have five loops on your hook. And then do it one more time. Yarn over, go into that stitch, yarn over, pull through. So now you have seven loops on your hook. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yarn over and go through all seven of those loops, like that. Then go into the next stitch for a single crochet. Okay, so that popcorn stitch we made is our thumb. And then we are just going to just put one single crochet in the rest of the stitches around. Alright, so we just did that popcorn stitch round. Now for round number five, we're going to move up our stitch marker and we're just going to single crochet in each stitch around. So no more popcorns, no more increasing or anything like that. We're just going into that stitch. If I can see it, there we go. Into that stitch, 
yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Okay, then just single crochet all the way around. Then I'll meet you up for uh, round number six. Oh, at the end of this round, um, we're not going to actually finish the very last stitch because we're going to change color. So I'll show you how to do that. All right, I'm on my last stitch here um, for round number five, and we're not going to completely finish this stitch. Go into the stitch, yarn over, pull through, but don't finish because we are going to change color. Okay, so attach your black for the color of your shirt, or the jacket, sorry, the color of the jacket, and then yarn over and pull that through. Okay, so then that completes that last single crochet there. Now on this next round, so let me pull out my stitch marker and get a different color stitch marker because black is the color I'm using. So let me find, we'll use brown. Okay, so I'm going to stick my stitch marker in there. And there's a lot going on right now, but we're going to drop our old color and pick up our black, or our jacket color. And now for round six, it is a decrease round. We are going to single crochet two together. So go in this first stitch here, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, or I'm sorry, yarn over, pull through, go into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. So do a decrease single crochet. I'm sure you know how to do that already. And then single crochet in the next two stitches. So one and two. Okay, and then repeat that. So make a single crochet decrease. And then one single crochet in the next two stitches. Okay, and repeat it once again for the last time. Decrease, single crochet, and then one in the next two. Okay, then at this point I'm going to pull this and remove my hook because we need to get rid of the old color here. So there's not so much going on. So I'm going to cut my skin tone color and tie the black yarn, the new yarn that I just picked up, and my flesh color, tie those together. Okay, and I don't want to confuse you, but that brown in there is my stitch marker. Whoopsie. What is happening? There we go. All right. And then shove that in there all into the hand. Okay, we're good. Now get rid of that. And now we're just working with the black. So now you have nine single crochet all the way around since we just did that decrease. So now you can move your stitch marker up. Okay, and now it just says for rounds seven to 20, or I'm sorry, it's probably, I think it's seven to 24. Let me double check. Hang on just one second. All right, so I was right. It was 7 to 20. Round 7 to 20, we are just going to be single crocheting in each stitch all the way around. So do that, and then um, once you get to about like round 14-ish, you can stuff only the hand and partial of the arm. But don't stuff the arm too much. You want the arms to be able to bend and everything, like do the worm wave. So just um, stuff it lightly. So stuff the hand completely, but then stuff the arm lightly, and there's no stuffing even up here at all. So just stuff until like half arm, and then you're good. And I will meet you up then when my arm is done. 
Okay, so I am just stuffing this lightly so it is good there. Okay, so I'm just testing it out. Good. All right, now I did my 20 rounds there. Okay, I just removed my stitch marker and now we're going to fasten off. So just how we've been fastening off on things, just go into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through and through. Then chain up one, cut your yarn a little bit longer because we are going to sew this <clears throat> and pull that through just like that. Okay, so now make a second one and then sew it to your jacket right at the top here where the shoulder would be. And you can view on this one as a guide just right under the first row there. R first double crochet row at the top of the jacket, just right at the bottom of it. And sew it to the jacket. You don't have to sew it all the way through to the body, um, just sew it through the jacket, just through a few stitches. and like that and make sure your thumb is facing forward on both hands so it'll look like this on this side and then like this on this side okay so make the second one and sew them on and then we will make the bow tie all right so this is what it should look like now I just uh, made both of the arms and sewed them on so this is how he looks and now our last piece we have to do is the bow tie. So get your black yarn ready. I'll set him aside. Make your slip knot. Okay, and then it says to chain five. So yarn over, pull through. One, two, three, four, and five. And then it says to single crochet in the second chain from the hook and across. So insert your hook in there. And just single crochet across. You should have four single crochets. One, two, three, and four. Okay, then fasten off. So yarn, I just chain one. Cut your yarn, cut it a little bit longer because we are going to use it to uh, make the bow in the middle, uh, the tie. So what I need you to do is then get your yarn needle available, wherever that is. I'm gonna find my yarn needle and then we are going to uh, crochet, or I'm sorry, sew this. Oh, there it is, here we found it. All right, so get a small yarn needle or like a um, embroidery needle or something and yarn that. Okay, there we go. And go into the first two stitches, go behind the first two stitches so you are um, right in the middle there. Okay, so go inside the two stitches into the middle of them. So two single crochet on one side and two single crochet on the other side. Okay, so you're in the middle there. You're going to wrap this. You can either wrap it down under and forward or you can wrap it, you know, just wrap it around however you feel comfortable doing. And pull tight like that. And you really gotta shape this thing. And make sure you're in the dead center because this can be quite difficult. There we go. Okay, so wrap it once or twice, whichever you feel most comfortable uh, with how it looks. So that's how it's going to be on mine. And before we sew it to the uh, body, Sew in this uh, little ugly end here. So take your other yarn needle here and just go in between some stitches. Okay. 
just like that. Yarn that. That's your straggler from the beginning when we made the uh, slip knot. Okay, then cut that and pull it tight. Stretch it out. Okay. So there we have it. Our bow tie. Now you can see which um, side you like better. You'll have to really manipulate this to um, shape into a bow. And then sew it to the body, to um, the center between the neck and the head, or the body and the head, I guess, right on that meeting line. So right here is where we want to put it. Okay, so I'm going to sew this off camera, and uh, we will meet back up when we're all finished. All right, so uh, I just sewed on the uh, bow tie there, so you can see that. So uh, now our groom, or prince, or whatever he is to you, is all done. So we finished him completely. You can see all the way around. Thank you so much for crocheting this room with me, and I hope you learned something on how to make dolls, how to make a boy or a man doll. Make sure to watch my bride video so you can see the princess bride video. You can make her as well, so you can make the whole couple team here, and um, you can make a bunch of these, you know, if you want. So. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe to my channel here on YouTube and uh, so you can get you know updates on when I put out new videos. I try to get one or two out a week. And make sure you join on my Facebook page. You can uh, get all the links in the description. The pattern for this video, the written pattern, will be also in the description of this video. It is an original pattern, so it'll be on my blog. And check out my website as well. So thanks so much for watching and happy hooking!